Hello peaches, welcome back to another video. I hope you've got your source of hydration with you. Mm -mm -mm. We definitely have a source of hydration in today's episode because it's actually raining in Sulani. Just big wow. It has been awful weather in the UK this week and I'm like, oh, I get to play in Sulani, beachy vibes. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be beautiful. It's gonna be beachy. And then I get here and it's raining, which is a big surge. However, we may be about to leave the rain and, you know, usually sunny shores of Sulani behind us because in today's episode, episode. I'm thinking we do a little bit of a paradigm shift. That's probably completely wrong way to use this. But in the last episode, Coral, who's in bed feeling all happy from his new partner, like old times because he's by his family. His first kiss he messed up, but he's like, but I can improve. I can improve. But basically, he is now officially dating Mahina. These guys are like having a whole like beautiful beginning part of a relationship together. And also they kind of have a shared dream because Mahina brought him to Studio PHB, which is in the Del Sol Valley which was kind of based on LA. And she was like, I would love, love to be an actress one day. One day I want to live here and I want to get into this club and receive an award for being an amazing actress. And Coral is like, huh. Funny you should say that because I actually have a dream of becoming a script writer one day. So there could be a reality where Coral is literally writing the scripts that Mahina then acts out. Like that could literally be a creative dream that the two of them could share together. However, right now we are not there yet. Right now we're living in this kind of pirate ship on the edge of the water because our parents are rogues, but I kind of love them for that. And even more depressingly still, we are basically Dwight Schrute. We are assistant to the manager, assistant to the regional manager in our business career. Oh, and we're also looking after our sister's plants in the morning because usually she forgets. Although we have decided that we dislike gardening. Hmm, this could be a difficult one to give him because as part of Pink, he's now my pink heir, as you guys know. As part of the pink challenge, he's meant to have a well-maintained garden. But I kind of like the idea that he maintains a garden even though he dislikes it just because people around him like it. Very coral behavior. I'm gonna say yes to that. And then he went in to go join her cooking, which she'd already finished. Cutie bum bum head. Okay, so they have the shared dream. However... I can't actually make him quit the business career until he becomes a young adult. Uh, sorry, an adult, of which I have 12 days left to not to live. 12 days left of young adulthood before he can become a script writer. This is, I think, the most I've ever, like, felt the frustration of a sim who really wants to be a creative but is trapped in, like, a non-creative job. Like, I literally feel the struggle for him so much, which I kind of love. Of course, Blossom. Blossom is also having the exact same problem as well because she really wants to quit her job and become a writer. She really likes like romance books. That's her jam. Also my jam, Relatable Blossom. I am making a shower in the water. She's uh, getting ready for work. We've only got one shower in this household and Coral was using it, is supposed to be using it. Please take your shower, Coral. So yeah, she's washing in the ocean instead. But because I've now decided that Coral is air, technically, Technically, I don't need to torture Blossom anymore. I could let Blossom quit her job now and become a writer. Like, literally, that is something I could do. She could, like, start the little garden that, of course, Coral would need to maintain as part of the pink challenge. We could do that. We could just go ahead and do that. However, I really want to say that we do move to the Del Sol Valley today because just because we can't start our dream doesn't mean that Coral can't start trying to help these guys achieve their dream. And Coral, Coral's a grafter and he's also the kind of sim that definitely thinks more about other people than he thinks about himself. He puts them first. He's always, always put Blossom first. So I think the idea of him pushing for Blossom to like live out her dreams um, now, I think he would do. And I also, oh my gosh, he's so loved up. I also think he'd want to do the same for Mahina. And she could start her acting career before we start our script writing career. So for now, I'm going to go ahead and send them into work for another day because I can't make him quit. And we, we, you know, we still need to be earning money. Hilariously, he keeps getting promoted and doing really well at his job, despite the fact that he absolutely hates it. Oh! <gasps> And no way, no freaking way. This could have worked out really good timing. So Blossom, going over routine expense reports, Blossom notices some lines that don't seem to match up. Upon further investigation, he discovers that a lot of money has been funneled into secret executive accounts. Blossom doesn't have much of a standing at the company yet, but this seems like something that she should take to the authorities, right? Hmm. I wonder who, who could possibly be laundering money at our little tiny business shop on the island of which our mother is like basically hiding out at 
whilst being a massive criminal overlord. I wonder who could be doing that. Now, one thing we know that, like, despite the fact that Blossom and Coral, Coral, get on very well with Clem, like, they, they know their mum's flawed. They do love her. Blossom more so, I would say. They've never wanted to go down this route. They don't really like the fact that their parents do this. So I kind of feel like Blossom would do this. So I'm gonna get her to turn it all over. Hand the money into the authorities and show once and for all that the twins are not gonna follow in their parents' footsteps. They do not wanna be criminals. So we're gonna turn it all over. That has given her a one-star celebrity. However, she is sad because she's been fired and she, I literally cannot believe that she was just fired. Whistles were blown. She turns over the incriminating papers to the local authorities who come down on the company fast and hard. A number of papers pick up the story, splashing Blossom's name across the headlines. After the dust has settled, the company cleans house, firing everyone involved in the whole scandal, including Blossom. So Blossom unfortunately has lost her job. It is fine because she's no longer technically the heir. So she is able to lose her job in the uh, business career and it's, it's not the end of the world. Like I don't film my challenge or like I don't need to get put her back into it. She basically doesn't have a job and she's also got an awkward conversation now with Clem because she could potentially have put that earnings for Clem's criminal empire. Like, it's not looking good. I don't know if your mom's gonna be annoyed that you've lost the money or that you've basically grasped on her, which by the way, I completely agree with, but you are still a massive snitch. And snitches do tend to get stitches. I'm just putting out there, that is a thing that exists. I think you need to go and speak to your mom. These guys are in here. Let's go ahead and explain everything that's happened. In the meantime, by the way, you guys pointed this out, which I didn't get. Do we cheat them and how? Do we cheat them and how? I only got the cheat and reference, but... <laughs> so let's see, is Clem willing to forgive us? Is she willing to forgive us for everything? She is happy because... Blossom came in and checked on her. She's also loving living here, home sweet home. And she is enjoying being near family. She is quite stressed about her job. In fact, I probably feel like she's gonna have to go in and fix everything that Blossom's just unfixed or ruined, basically. But I don't feel like her mom's angry at her. I feel like whilst at one point they were kind of low-key encouraging the kids to follow in their footsteps because in their heads, it was easy money. I kind of feel like now that isn't the case anymore. Is it gonna be safe for Blossom to stay on the island? Island after, you know, upsetting some very dangerous criminals. Clem, I feel like, you know, can punch her way out of any argument and has done in the past, usually with old people. That's just how she rolls. But Blossom is soft and gentle and very baby. And I'm not sure if it's safe for her here anymore. In fact, her own mother might say, I think the best thing you guys can do is, is you know, hide out low and leave Solani. Oh, and she's definitely having a bit of a struggle though because she's just got the emotion bomb quirk, which I actually hate because it can end up killing your sims, but it's because she's got one star of fame. I kind of forget you start to get quirks as well, don't you? Okay, whilst all that was happening, we did get paid from our books. Coffee Shop Princess is doing okay, but amazingly, the cursed children just keeps going from strength to strength to strength. This is Coral's screenplay. He managed to publish this inside my shoe note before he left, and it just keeps doing better and better and better. Like, he's literally written a masterpiece and then dropped and left the town forever because he had to go and go to Solani with his parents. So he definitely has a, a whole career ready to fall back on. People are just probably wondering where he is. And with Blossom, if I'm taking the fame quirks, I also want to take the benefits as well. I would love her to keep trying to write her romance novels. So I think this noticeable from skills and careers kind of feels like it makes a lot of sense, I think think that's the best one to give her. Or she could. I've started to get really into booktube. So I really like watching people's reviews on books and writing. People who want to become writers, people who are just really interested in books. I kind of like the idea that Blossom starts like a book channel and like writes novels, but also creates a bunch of content around them and becomes like, you know, an author, both in terms of books, but also video content this could be fun to do from her because I was like, if I'm moving Coral to Del Sol Valley, I'm not gonna leave Blossom behind. He would never leave his sister behind. For him, the idea of being left here would be hell on earth and he would never do that to his sister, even if she doesn't mind it as much as him. So whilst Coral works, I'll get her to keep writing her coffee flavored romance series. We're on Where Have You Been Now? First, it was Coffee Shop Prince. And we kind of have to break the news to poor Coral, who hates work so much that when he gets home, we probably have to leave. Leave for good. Or at least until things get less crazy and hectic. And Clem's focused, focused on fixing Blossom's mess, but also probably on trying to keep her daughter safe too. Oh, when she's finished her book, she's finished it. Okay, I'm kind of thinking if I move to Del Sol Valley, I can start doing proper publishing again. I'm not allowed to do anything more with Coral until he quits his job, but there's no reason why I can't do 
proper publishing with Blossom. So I'll get her to keep that one. And for now, we can also... So the last one was, where have you been? Like a coffee bean. This one, I'm going to call, I grew it for you. <laughs> This is the most niche book genre you can ever go into. Romantic coffee flavored books. Oh, and look who's popped over to say hello. What's up, Blossom? I noticed your name has been all the buzz lately. How'd you feel about catching up? We were always friends before you made it big, right? Aren't we literally dating? Oh no, we are lovebirds, but we're not actually dating. So another thing I'm gonna do, now that I can break Blossom away from the like, pink rules a little bit since she's not air, I'm gonna get rid of her unflirty trait. And, uh, no, 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 not cheerful. Although you are quite cheerful. I'm going to give her the complete opposite. I'm going to give her the way she was as a teenager that kind of um, ended up, there we go, romantic, that kind of ended up being like bullied out of her by children at school, made her very like nervous about love because she was very loving. She had a very big open heart and then people used it to be cruel. Whereas I'm actually going to give her her romantic trait back. It is who she is. It's how, who she's always been. And I'm like happy to give her it back. So Blossom is now not the heir, so it can be a romantic again. Oh, and a little joke for us all. Why did the old man fall in the well? Because he couldn't see that well. Did I make you laugh? Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know why okay is a reply, but it's so valid in this, in this circumstance. And Zach wants to come over and hang out. Oh my gosh, Zach, what? I've not seen or heard from you, actually, since last episode. But still, how are things going? You guys have two kids now. We've got a Princeton. Um, we've got Abraham, which we haven't seen in a while. I I'm moving this episode, otherwise I would go call in. But maybe we can do that next episode. Oh, and the minute that Zach called over, Keenan pranked the toilet. <laughs> this is why, as much as, you know, I do be loving Zach, who looks quite sad right now. Keenan, Keenan is my man, because he's just pure nonsense, and I love that. And Coral is back home from work. He did some superb work today. Good job, Coral. The good thing is, actually, when you work for, like, a business, like, business, we gotta wear a suit and, like, go to an office. There's probably gonna be a sister part business in some other city as well, so I feel like you can just jump from assistant to a manager in Solani to assistant to a manager elsewhere as well. And it's time for Coral, uh, Blossom to come and break the news. Confess to getting fired. It's a stormy day. You know when the like weather matches what's going on in the story perfectly? Like turbulent skies, thunder and lightning, like drama. It's kind of perfect. So she's off to go confess to being fired. But not after some hugs first. She's like, by the way, mum's job kind of got me fired. Mum who's off to work in her outfit now. And Coral is like, oh my gosh, what? We have to leave Solani? No way. This is so sad. Anyway, I have some house listings that I've got saved as bookmarks. Let's go check them out. So while Clem heads into work to go and like, you know, give them some cover, keep things on the down low, we are actually going to be moving these little googie eggs out. So I'm going to have to go to Manage Worlds and split the household so that these guys can run away. I mean, the Sims, it kind of timed things perfectly for me there, didn't it? These guys are going to run away into a brand new household. And of course, not only are the two cats theirs, Artie and Bubblegum. But also a new cat, Popberry, is Bubblegum's baby. So I guess technically Coral's, although he does want to give it to Mahina. And I feel like, you know, these parents, it's about time they did something good for the kids. This is all sort of low-key Clem's fault. So she's going to seriously look after them. She earns like thousands every time she goes to work anyway. So I think they'll be fine. I think you're still going to be a very supported man, keen on fires. Don't even worry. And we've got our whole new household. So I'm going to zip over to the Del Sol Valley not my favorite neighborhood honestly the path they're going on not my actual favorite vibes in the whole world but i'm always excited to go someplace new and there is this lot here the inner circle it's thirty-one thousand pounds though so i actually don't think i can afford that currently it's outside of their budget they'd need another sixteen thousand pounds however what if i added one more sim to the household i know things have moved very very fast however it's not normal circumstances we're kind of on the run from criminals at this point point but also Mahina wants to live out in the Del Sol Valley she wants to become an actress as well so we could always try and keep things a little bit separate from now like we're dating we're living in the same house but let's not get too serious and heavy the good thing is her family literally has 40,000 pounds so I'm thinking that Mahina could probably bring the deficit which brings us up to 32,000 pounds I added a little bit more on top just to make sure we can definitely afford it. Yeah, we'll have $600 left over. We can't get it furnished. Oh my gosh, it's not gonna have any furniture. 
Screw it, we'll go for it. Let's go ahead and move into the Del Sol Valley. And let's start a new life where the household is literally just as many cats as it is humans. <laughs> the perfect ratio of one cat to one human. And here we go. Oh my gosh, it's the same lot. It's the same house. It's the same house as... Oh, and we got our PCs. Awesome. This is the same lot, at least, as when I moved here the only other time I've played in the Del Sol Valley. At least in this part of the Del Sol Valley. This is where Summer and Phoenix and everyone lived. It's made to look as like it's two houses next door to each other, which is cool because it adds a little bit more vibes. However, I am just going to stick to one house because it's unrealistic that both of them would have been able to buy, like, the twins and Mahina would have been able to buy an entire house in LA. Like, probably not gonna happen. So instead, we're all sharing one house together. Okay, $600 to decorate a whole house. Kind of feels like this is not gonna happen very easily. What things do we absolutely need? We need a toilet. Okay, cheapest toilet is this one. Let's stick that in there. That's quite a lot of our money gone instantly. Next is, okay, I can see one bedroom, two bedroom, three bedroom. I can't afford a wall yet though, but we can make it a three bed for now. The cheapest bed is... Oh, wow. <laughs> cheapest bed is actually Mad Hacks because I can buy these bed frames like so and put this in there. And I think I may be able to afford two of those. So two people can sleep at least. Thank you, Cece. And then can I afford a sink? I can't afford a sink. Okay, amazing. Okay, so I have some little bits and bobs. Food we're gonna have to eat out, but at least we can sleep and pee. You know, important things. Coral still has his job, so he can at least work. Mahina, I'm gonna need you to jump on a job right now literally right now. So why don't you go ahead and try and find yourself a job? Can we still do an odd job or is it too late? Yeah, we need odd jobs this evening, please. And Blossom, this is going to be a bit of a return to the past because whilst you're doing your one is become an author, I'm going to get her working in a coffee shop as well. Eventually, hopefully we're going to be able to afford the YouTube setup for her. So Coral, <laughs> This is a cruel twist of fate. He's finally escaped the beach, which he hated. And I'm gonna send him to go and judge some sand sculptures. I'm so sorry, Coral. I'm just so sorry. It's just too tempting. It's too easy. It's too easy with you. Mahina is gonna give it a go at being an actress. Right now, she's gonna be an uncredited extra and she will have to join a talent agency. So let's go for... Oh man, they're both low-key kind of trash. This one's kind of doing this though, which I'm vibing with. This one looks more professional though. We'll find you work no matter how small the role. I need all the work I can get. So let's go for this one and let's get you back in your barista. You have to start from the bottom, but I'm pretty sure it won't be long before you get to the top again. So as tired as they are, everyone's heading in to go and do their odd jobs. I need you to get on one as well, please, Mahina. Just so we can try and afford like balls for the cats. And also one more bed would be great. I mean, one more bed would just be absolutely top tier. Let's face it. Looks like the twins are still going to be sharing a room. On Mahina, this kitten, technically yours. Do you want to say hello to your new little kitty cat? One idea I had was making it so that Mahina was like a roommate instead so that I wouldn't have to control her yet until we decided we really wanted to. But turns out we just kind of really needed the money, didn't we? So it's fine. We're going to get to play with Mahina as well now. Oh, she's also been asked to do her first audition. I don't think she's got any guitar level. So I guess it's charisma. And that starts at seven o'clock on Friday. So we'll get you a mirror once those guys, let's get you a mirror now and you can start practicing that. Oh my gosh. If we can have a reality where she's a famous actress and Coral is a famous playwright, it will be so cool. <gasps> and Blossom, great success! $105! Yay! That's so much. Wow, okay. We don't even have any lights, so that's real fun. And oh my gosh, one of the cats is like sleeping underneath the covers in the bed. That's so cute. Oh, it's hers as well! It's art. No, it's Bubblegum. It's actually uh, Coral's cat. <gasps> And oh my gosh, obviously Coral did amazing and also gained a relationship and got a tip. We got enough money for two beds. Mahina failed, bless her. <laughs> She's not my sim. Well, she is, but like I've not played as it. That's what I was looking for. So I've not had a chance to like level up any of her skills. Hence why she kind of sucks at everything, but we'll improve that. Don't worry. Okay. And at least I can buy some lights for every room because I really hate it when I can't like see what's going on in my house. And the pain of this, like he's literally so bored and fun deprived. Look at his fun, look how low it is. But I can't let him write. I still can't let him write because I feel like at this point, he is the only one. The only one making 
in stable money, the only one that like is actually going to be able to keep the lights on at the house, which I've just put in. So whilst everyone else gets to follow their dreams, Coral doesn't, which makes perfect sense because we can't make him follow his dreams until he becomes an adult anyway. It is part of the rules of Not So Barry that Pink Jen can has to do it as a midlife crisis, but it still really sucks for him because I actually think as well, he is low-key the most talented one of all of them. And he's the only one who can't follow his creative dreams. He is sacrificing all of it for the people who are important in his life, which right now is Mahina and obviously the most important in his person in his life, which is Blossom. So Blossom starts the earliest. She has a awful 5 a.m. start, so she's gonna head in for that. Wait, you get $28 an hour doing coffee? And you get $23 an hour in business? Mind you, you're working longer hours, but that is savage, jeez. At least he can talk about all of the things that he's passionate about with um, Mahina. And he can make fun of his job and how much he hates it with her as well. Have someone to vent to is really important. That is gonna give him like a little bit of fun as well. So there we go. <laughs> it's the little things, you know? He's like, you know, when Homer Simpson, like, I think I've literally said this about Coral before. <laughs> But, um, you know when he tapes a picture of Maggie all over his mean sign at work and it says, do it for her. That's the coral, but he all the signs are like, uh, it's all pictures of Blossom and a few pictures of Mahina in there too. Do it for them. Oh, I need to feed the animals. Oops. <laughs> Don't start that again. Don't start neglecting the pets again. I can at least afford a food bowl. $5, I think I can fill it too. And then I'm gonna get her practicing her speeches. And with Blossom's $50, oh my gosh, money is gonna be such a struggle. Can I afford a cat litter tray? Even the most basic one, I can't. Okay, brilliant. And can I get like a workspace? Can I afford any? No. I was really hoping to get a workspace for Blossom to sit at. Is there like a park nearby? Maybe I'll have to go to a park. Oh, awesome. There is a park so she can work in the park today. At least the weather's really good. Oh, and Blossom's got an opportunity to promote TV dinner because she's got a little bit of fame. But she's got 24 hours to use a video station. Don't have one of those. Or oh, film footage with a drone. Don't have one of those either. How on earth are we gonna get enough money to do that? Hey babe, are you busy? I miss you and wanna see you. Can you come over right now? Who are you? Do you have money? Is this one of our old flames? Oh, <gasps> that's Lila. That is literally Lila. Wasn't she mean to us in school? But does she have a drone? That's what I'm thinking. Oh, <gasps> Pop is aging up. Pop, what kind of kitten are you gonna look? Cat, you gonna look like? <gasps> oh, wait. Have your eyes changed color again? I don't even know what color they are. But Pop is aged up. Hooray for Pop. <gasps> You've got the same tail type as Artie. Look at the little tail. That's so cute. Okay, you guys all look very similar. And have you got green eyes still? Yeah, we got little green eyes. Okay, and thank you, Coral. Saved by the royalty reports. Which means I could gamble and spend some money on a drone. Can't afford the video station, so the drone is really the only angle I've got. But I also need a kitchen in order to film myself cooking, you know? So let's just put in the most basic possible kitchen and let's get a drone and see if we can uh, make a little bit of cash. I still don't have a shower. So you're just gonna have to wash your hands and brush your teeth a bunch. <gasps> Camille is happy that we're following our dreams. Thank you, Camille. And the neighborhood has also come to welcome us. It's just one person called Norma, but I can't focus on them right now. I've got to begin this stream and then I've got to cook a meal. Okay, so I've got the video, but without the video station, I can't upload it and send it to them. <laughs> so that was kind of low-key a failure. So let's stick to our original plan and head into our neighborhood. <gasps> hey, Blossom, it's me, Jacob. Do you want to go on a date? Oh my gosh, I totally do. But the whole point of coming here was to write my book. So why don't you come over here instead? And she can write a book in the park and hang out with Jacob. Mahina, I'm going to get to try and dig everything so I can get a bit of extra cash. And then I should probably get her to practice her acting, right? And bless him, Jacob looks a little bit sad. I guess because she's not living in Sulani anymore and he didn't get us to move in. But they're not actually dating. So like, I guess he wouldn't. We'll try to cheer him up and catch up with him a little bit. I mean, if he autonomously asks her to date and then they start dating for a while and we get enough cash, I could move Blossom and Jacob into here. And then I've got like this for my heir. But Blossom always stays nearby, which is really nice. And I never expected to, we could put a garden out here too. I never expected to ever stay in like, to be living in this neighborhood. So I'm kind of just making this up as I go along, but I also really like the direction that the story is going. <gasps> and Coral is home. Who are you? <gasps> You're my uncle. Wow, they look so similar. That's kind of weird. <gasps> but you've been promoted to assistant manager. 
Yay! This is literally just your dream, right? You must be so happy. Nope, you're shattered and you are also very, very stressed. Okay, I do need to max out his wellness skill. And I'm a bit worried about him, if I'm honest. Everyone else is living out their dreams and he's just getting more and more and more stressed. So I'm gonna get him to do a little meditation before, actually, then we can wish Mahina good luck on our interview. Her audition, sorry. And then we'll get some slaps. Oh, in the middle of the meditation, Keenan calls you. <laughs> it's dad, when are you gonna come visit? <sighs> Uh, nice talking to you, Dad. I literally can't come home because we're on the run. Someone definitely did not get the memo, but okay. Love you, Dad. You big Egypt. Sigh, I understand. You're a busy, successful young man now. I guess my boy grew up to be just like me. Oh, Keenan. Whatever world you're living in, I really want a ticket to come visit you because it sounds lovely. I'll always be here if you need me though. That is cute. And actually the good news is with three of them working, I can start to like build, oh, I'm so sorry Cole. I can start to decorate the house a little bit quicker than I thought. So they got a shower now as well at least. <gasps> you passed your audition. Well, aren't you a surprise Mahina? I mean, if all our actors are past auditions before, it just usually requires a bit more of a bribe to the casting director. <gasps> yes, you got your first role as a unpaid extra in a Salty Suds commercial. Yay. And the thing is, because she's like been working so hard for her first role and Coral is the only one with a full-time job, they've actually not been able to spend any time together as a couple. We're still in separate bedrooms. He's on flirty as well. So he's probably like, yes, yeah, it's all fine. But no, no. <laughs> <gasps> and now Blossom has a writer's block. She would rather be doing literally anything else besides this right now. Should she finally admit that she dislikes writing? No freaking way. Blossom, you are out here living the dream that Coral wishes he could and you've actually realized this isn't the life for you. Okay. You just finished writing an entire book as well. Well, it's a good job we've said that YouTube might be the career for you because I feel like that might be the direction we take you. For now, I'm gonna at least publish. This one was first, wasn't it? Your other two books for money, but yeah, looks like Blossom is not gonna be writing anymore. And the city is a struggle. The city is hard, but it's never easy achieving your dreams, particularly when they are creative dreams. And our three little creative bumpkins are all learning something new about themselves. Blossom, that maybe she she was just doing Coral's dream this whole time and needs to find her own passion. Should it be YouTube? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Mahina kind of realizing that she's gonna really have to start from the bottom in Salty Suds commercials. I might not get as much time with her new flame as she originally thought. Meanwhile, poor Coral is doing the hard work so that the ladies in his life can uh, chase their goals. But as of yet, he is the only one not being able to do what he'd love to and instead is just working his butt off to keep the roof over their head. At least for the next 10 days. So guys, let me know if you enjoyed this episode. I absolutely loved it because I really like the struggle and I like it when we change careers and do a bunch of new stuff. So that's really cool. I like that we're in a new neighborhood. I like that we've got a bunch of new stuff going on and I can pursue a load of different dreams. So hopefully you guys did as well and I'll see you in another video. Bye.